21st century doing something all right what's going on guys today i have a red dead redemption money exploit for you today this isn't a glitch by any means this is just something you can do in the game so we're going to be looting houses and you're going to want to go to this location right where i am right in the bayou at this cabin on the map kind of by saint denis so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to walk into this house here and there's going to be jewelry boxes in both this cabinet that you see right in front of me you're going to open it up and there's going to be some fine jewelry in this box and a health tonic as well. So you can take both of those. Then we're going to go ahead and walk over to this um, drawer kind of thing. We're going to open that up and there's going to be another box of jewelry in here. After you pick that up, there's a couple more things on the table that you can pick up as well. There's going to be premium cigarettes and there's going to be some fine brandy. So once you pick those up, all you're going to do is walk out the door and you're going to go ahead, say goodbye to your fellow players and you're going to press the start button and you're going to select online and load into a new free roam session. Press yes that you are sure to join a new Red Dead Redemption match. And this loading screen is going to take about a minute but I'll cut past that. So here we are. You spawn right back by the cabin, as you can see. You don't always spawn in the same spot, so it might be to your left, might be behind you, might be right in front of you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run back in there, and these items are actually going to respawn for you. So you're gonna go inside the cabin. This time I spawn at the back. Walk in this door. This time I'm gonna loot the, um, the drawer first doesn't matter which one you do first so you're gonna take that and you're gonna walk over to the cabinet and you're gonna grab the jewelry and the health tonic in there too and basically what you're gonna do is keep repeating this process as long as you keep leaving the session and joining right back in you're gonna be able to farm these jewelry items and sell them at the nearest fence location. And the reason I picked this house in particular, there's a bunch of different houses that you can do this at, by the way, but I believe this house is the best one because you are the closest to a fence, which is in Saint Denis. So I'm gonna go to online and I'm gonna join a new free roam session once again. And that loading screen is gonna take about a minute. It's not that long in between times. So here I am again right back by the cabin in a different spot this time. I'm gonna have to turn around, go to the cabin, there it is. Now, I'm gonna warn you, sometimes there are gonna be other players doing this exact same thing. So, you might have to get in a gunfight or two to take what you want. See, there's a guy in here this time, trying to take the jewelry. Shoot him before he gets it, and I'm gonna go take it from him. Um, I would say about one out of three times there's going to be someone here trying to do the same thing as you. Um, this method will roughly get you around two to three hundred dollars per hour of doing it. You can stack up to five of each jewelry item and once you max out all your jewelry you're going to take it to the fence post in Saint Denis. So right here is just a couple clips of encounters that I had with people trying to do the same thing. Open up the cabinet. Take the jewelry. Take the health cure. These health cures are awesome because they're actually er, they're potent like multi-tonics or something like that and what they're actually going to do they're going to fully heal your health bar your stamina bar and your dead eye bar so they're actually really helpful you can carry up to 20 of those so here you see i'm going to go into my satchel go over to valuables i believe well either way you can see that i have five of these wedding bands two pocket watches stuff like that so we're going to keep going for a little while just for video's sake, make sure you got it down. We're gonna take the Miracle Tonic, take the jewelry, 
take the other jewelry, we're gonna head on out. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where the fence post is in Saint Denis, where you can go and sell all of these items. The pocket watch is gonna be the most expensive item. So when you get those, it's your lucky day. All right, so we're calling my horse here. I'm gonna show you the map here and we're gonna tell you exactly how to get to the fence. So it's in Saint Denis and it's gonna be on the right side of town. Don't mistake it for the saloon. <laughs> I accidentally did that once, so I had to ride over to the fence. It was my first time actually going here and online. So we're gonna ride down the street here, turn the corner, we're gonna pull up to the fence post here, park my horse like a boss, So it's not actually a front door, you have to come in through the back here, in this little marketplace area, and it's going to be this back door. So you're going to walk in, go around a couple corners, and talk to the fence post manager, and you're going to sell your items. So as you can see, we got some necklaces, rings, lockets, and a couple pocket watches. These things can all sell from in between like 60 cents and I believe the pocket watch is $3.25. So when you keep doing this method, you're basically gonna be getting, if you fill up your jewelry all the way, you'll, you'll probably be making around $60 per visit to the fence. And I do believe you could make in between two to $300 per hour, depending on how efficient you are. So since I already looted the cabin in this session, I'm actually gonna ride back there and I'm gonna load into a new session right away. So from sand, from the fence, back to the cabin, it's not that far away. It's right under the O of the bayou. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ride down there. Speed it up for you guys so you don't have to watch me ride all the way back. And we're here again. It should probably take you like two minutes to get all the way back there. I walk into the house. I already looted this in the same session, so it does not respawn if you leave and come back. It's really key that you join a new session. So we're gonna go to online mode, free roam, and accept. We're gonna load right in. So, that's the glitch for you guys. Hope you put it to good use. Have a good one. Peace.